So real quick, we're going to be breaking this down into three parts or acts, if you will. The first act is going to be the assembly of the chair. Unboxing the chair, putting the chair together, me rambling and doing random things, making noises while I put the chair together. The total chair build time, for those of you that are curious and just want to skip that part, is about 15 to 18 minutes. I set the timer inside for about 15 minutes, and when I came in, it had been going off for a minute, so I assume about 18 minutes. Uh, beyond that... Uh, you can skip ahead to the next one. We're going to talk about the quality of the chair and the build quality of the chair, the, how comfortable it is, a little bit about the chair, what it has to offer. And then beyond that, we're going to go into the GUI RGB control via Hera, which is GameDS's GUI software for all their things like keyboards, headsets, and now gaming chairs. Rainy day, tropical storm date coming through. Oh, tired of rainy days. Ooh, it's a hot day. It is nice, hot and steamy out with Tropical Storm Nate coming through right now and I'm in the garage area we've been working on. It is a little bit warm out here, but let's check it out real quick. Down here on the ground, hold on. I don't know if that focused any better for you, but it looks a little bit better for me. I can see some more of it. Now it's an all black color Game VSP one chair. They're a brand new Achilles, it's RGB compatible. It's supposed to be able to be to a point where you can set a design you want. You'll see it on the back over there on this one. Once we're done and put it together, it is a little bit dark right here and it, that's partly due to this room and the lighting and everything. We're still working on that, but we're gonna get there. Let's uh, start putting this thing together and see what we think of it. This is gonna be our nice seating area right here. This should look pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this. It's looking overly extra nice and well done and just, just the fabric looks great. I will say something, the head pillow. If this gives you anything to be excited about, look at that memory foam. Look at that support and pushback really dense really nice really comfortable feeling just right away I just really like how that's gonna be and of course it's gonna be just a simple strap onto the back of the chair but I like how memory foamy this is that, that that's gonna be nice can't say the same about the lumbar pillow this is more of a lighter kind of push material with not quite the same not quite the same niceness and flex back not not really so memory foamy as that other pillow I'm telling us we should do the wheels first so I'll go ahead and follow the steps Pretty simple so far. Making sure to very carefully put front, whoop, right there, front at the front of the chair. That is a nice quality feeling. I mean, they went all out with this model, that's for sure. Everything feels very nice.
And so far we're about eight minutes into putting this thing together. I've never done this before, so we're looking specifically at the instructions and kind of getting a good time frame. Now, put the wheels on. I don't, I don't feel like that should come through as much, if you can tell, like somehow here. Um, maybe it's not. Maybe that. Maybe the wheels will still have perfect clearance with that. We'll, we'll trust it. Let's back back up. Now, this is the part where a lot of chairs will either be problematic or not, and we're going to find out how problematic it may or may not be, because it seems weird to put it together this much and then attach the back. Most chairs, you'll put the back on first, then you'll put the whole assembly together, but uh, let's find out. Well, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much put together now, and uh, all we gotta do is take off some of the plastic that's along where the lights will be. So like on this back area, there's like a thin film plastic. We'll take that off. And uh, there's a USB that actually comes out of the bottom of the chair that you'll plug it into, connect it to hair, and be able to control its RGB lighting features, which the RGB is all be in here. Every one of the Achilles models has that, but this is the luxury one that has like the leg rest and everything like that, because I wanted to try the top of the line version of their chair, because you kind of get a better judge feeling from that point moving forward. Well, we might check out some of their other chairs too in the future, that's what we have right now. And let's finish taking a look at it because I'm sure there's some things that are interesting that you guys will want to see as well. To be perfectly candid with you, I didn't expect much from this chair. This is the Achilles P1. It's actually the more luxurious version of three chairs they have that all feature RGB lighting on the back. The P1 comes with a footrest and a lot of extra padding and is just their more high-end top tier quality version of the chair. It has got to be one of the most comfortable chairs I've ever sat in, including things like DX Racer, AK Racing, uh, Vertigear, Maxnomic. It is very comfortable, it is on point, and I just love everything about it. Everything from embroidery, stitching, vinyl print that's on it, the 4D adjustable control that's on the side that we'll cover a little bit more in a minute, everything. The stitching is magnificent all the way around it. I checked the entire chair for frays or bad spots and it just looked great. Everything is very on point. There's a headrest pillow that goes on the top and behind the headrest pillow you'll notice some sort of vinyl kind of design that they put on there that just sort of accentuates the entirety of the design. Something that adds a lot of quality to it that I find really nice and really appealing. The lighting is great on the chair. You have three steps of brightness. We'll cover more of that in just a moment later into this video. The pillow itself is this really nice dense memory foam pillow and it's actually a pretty comfortable formidable pillow comparative to uh, cheaper things I've seen before. The lumbar pillow is nice but if you don't want it there you can just snap it and detach it and pull it off if you're not somebody that likes to have that lumbar pillow pushing into your back. Now the lever on the side will give you the option to really throw yourself into the game because I don't understand why any chair would want to push you forward this far but hey if that's something you're into cool you can do that here on the Achilles P1, M1 and E1 they'll be able to push you right into the game. Now it doesn't go a full 180 degrees back just 150 degrees which is fine to me because I don't like to lay flat in a chair and it never feels safe to me. The 4D adjustable armrests are not only vinyl covered, very thick, durable, high quality, they feel great and you can just kind of find that perfect spot that you want them in. With 4D, and we'll kind of cover that here just now, what that means is that you have the ability to kind of angle them a little bit to the left or to the right, not as much as I probably would like and that I've seen in other chairs, but you can also slide them towards you inwards and you can also slide them out and away from you. You can push them back and you can also push them forward. This is something that I like a lot in this chair. Now, of course, you can also lift them up and down too and adjust the height to find something that's comfortable for you depending on what works best for you. The chair itself is just super comfortable. It's got to be some of the thickest padding 
and on top of that the breathable leather which you can kind of see in the shot right here this breathing leather is great because I don't like butt sweat I mean I hate to be so uh, blunt and, and honest about that but I don't like sitting in a chair that's gonna make my butt sweat the mirror X chair does do that to me but I noticed that I could sit in this chair for a long amount of time and just be perfectly comfortable and that's something that I enjoy it doesn't get hot feeling and uh, it's just really nice uh, the good things about some of this extra padding that you'll see on it too is that if you're an ankle sitter I've got good news for you you can sit on your ankle in this chair and be perfectly comfortable there's a lot of extra padding it's super thick and right there where the bucket seat rails are on the side both the left and the right they're super padded as well and what's so good about it being that super padded is that if you have to rest your foot on it it doesn't feel like you're resting it right on a metal bar now you may not be somebody that sits in a chair like that but if you are that's a pretty cool benefit to me that you can sit in it more comfortably than you would have probably expected to be able to you have a gas lift that says it's capable or allegedly capable of 1500 kilograms roughly 3300 pounds I didn't park a car on it to test it to make sure that it could hold that much weight. We'll just say I believe it and kind of go from there. It seems very nice. You have tilt lock control on the other side of the chair as well. If you don't want to be able to lean back, you can lock that to prevent yourself from leaning backwards. The wheels on the bottom, they're not nice caster wheels that are going to protect your floor, but they are nice wheels with good bearings in them. It rolls well. It's all housed on this nice uh, aluminum build that's just really high quality feeling. Now I showed you in the unboxing part that we kind of got this USB uh, cable here that's both female and male connection. The reason for that is on the back of the chair we we're able to plug that in. It's a six foot cable. You can plug it into the chair. This powers the lighting. And if this is something that you're interested in, you can also take a little power brick, anything you have laying around. I happen to have an Amazon brick laying around, so that's kind of what I demonstrate here. But any little USB power brick will do. You can plug the other end of the cable into it and plug it right into the wall. If you wanted to, you could go through the desk, but you can also use a battery bank using this cool Velcro flap that you see here in the video. A smaller bank would be better. I just use something we use when we take camping, but you know, you see how bulky it gets right there if you use something too big. Nice thin design one would be great. Uh, a 1200 mAh battery it will get you about 11 hours of RGB time on the actual chair itself if you wanted to go for that wireless feature. Now, this is the Achilles P1 only that has the footrest. The footrest is a little bit gimmicky to me. I could have kind of done without it, I'm sure. Now, Laura likes to sit in a crazy way. If I remember, I'll throw a picture in there to show you how she sits in the chair to make it work for her. But it's not long enough for me. It, none of these chairs really that feature this have ever really done anything good. However, if you recline, I'm talking super comfortable, like laying in a lazy boy. Really comfortable, could go to sleep like that. Super nice. Otherwise, it's just kind of gimmicky. So let's go through some of the lighting features that we see here. We have a wave lighting feature, neon, blink, seven color wave, random lights, rotate, Static, where you can pick any color or preset color you want. Run 7 wave. Or cross. And you can change your speed functions from 1 to 3. And you can also adjust the brightness a little bit too. At its brightest feature, it is a nice accent light that adds to the ambient effect of your already cool setup, I'm sure. When I got this chair, I really did not expect to be as impressed by it as I am. I thought it was kind of going to be a gimmicky, hey, here's a chair, here's another chair to add to the repertoire, here's another chair to put on the market, and uh, the saving grace or the the uh, hero of the chair is going to be the fact that you can do RGB with GUI control, which is pretty cool by itself, but the actual chair itself was pretty epic. I mean, uh, everything from it, the quality, stitch over stitch, lacing, everything just really nice, embroidery, vinyl coverings, uh, the 4D control over the armrest, everything just super freaking fantastic about it, and I didn't expect it. I thought that, again, that the RGB would be the hero of the chair, and the actual hero of the chair is the chair itself, 
with the added benefit of the RGB. Now, what Gamdius has done is created something for uh, both ends of the spectrum with a place in the middle. So the P1 is what you're seeing in this video is the more luxurious version of the chair. There is an M1 version of the chair as well, and there's also the E1 version of the chair, which is gonna be the most stripped down, a little less padding, you don't have the footrest, you don't have any of that, but you do have the RGB across all of the chairs, which is pretty cool if that's something that you're primarily interested in. Uh, the E1 will have, like I said, a little bit less padding, uh, be a little bit less luxurious than the M1 and the P1. The M1 is going to be pretty much the P1 without the footrest. It's going to be pretty padded, pretty nice, pretty comfortable. And in fact, that's probably what I'm going to lean towards next to replace my Mirax chair. Now, the Mirax chair is a great chair for under $100 now. But when it comes to wanting something a little bit more, pay a little bit more for it and without paying the price of something that's like Max Nomic DX Racer or AK Racing and get something that's really good. The Gambia chair just at the end of the day really just sort of blew my mind. I, I didn't expect it. You know, it's not something that they sent me for review. It's something that I wanted to get to review to add to my chair video reviews. It's something I paid for and it's something that was going to go in my office to replace that crappy amateur chair that we've been using for so long. Uh, as long as she had the ability to sit on her ankle while she sat in that chair, which she does, then she was definitely going to be replacing that animature one with it. I don't really have much criticism for this chair at all. There's a couple things that I'd like to see that, because I know what they can do now, I'd like to see them continue in being innovative. And one thing that I thought while I was sitting in the chair was like, you know, we have the USB out for the RGB, which is really cool to talk to Hera. Uh, the second thing is, if you wanted to be able to use it like a pass-through, because, let's face it, for the most part, your chair will be at your desk. you got that USB pass-through, you got a long enough USB cable, you're going to go to your PC, why not add a second USB plug-in and, and you, you know, treat the chair like a pass-through in itself, so it can constantly be lit while your PC's on. And uh, the added benefit to what I'm talking about is if you wanted to put your headset on, you could plug the headset into the chair. I mean, that would be pretty neat. Now, the tricky part is kind of finding a way, can you make the headset hang on the chair somehow? I'm not a designer, I don't develop that kind of thing, but I think that would be pretty neat if off the armrest was a little headset bar that you could rest your headset on, but your headset could be a part of your chair and the chair be USB passed through to the PC. That way you could just have your headset on your chair. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, maybe you disagree with that. I thought it was kind of a cool idea and uh, it'd be pretty innovative if we saw that as the next iteration or the next step forward and make it even better than it is because we already know how great they can make it. Let's continue forward. I'd also maybe like to see internal battery on the chair itself. Uh, if they had the ability to where you didn't have to have your own battery bank, you could just plug it in to charge it. That would have been pretty neat too. Uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. My coverage on the uh, Achilles P1 chair here. Have a great day, night, whatever it is. I'll see you in the next video that I do.